welcome to Living It Country. I'm Holly and today we get to go visit my friend Connie over at Life on Mercedes Drive. I have her Instagram account linked down below and she lives in a beautiful home that's so clean, so farmhouse and has that white rustic farmhouse charm. She gets items for free, she gets items thrifty and she does such a good job incorporating them into her home so you guys are gonna get lots of inspiration on affordable home decor today but not only affordable but everything looks very very high-end and beautiful so I'm so excited to welcome Connie here today and go tour her home make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our tours here I always have them linked down below so make sure you check them out and before we get started with the tour, I wanted to share with you my Simply Earth subscription box that I receive every month. This is an essential oil subscription box that comes straight to your door every month for $39.99. I do have a link below if you guys want to get this box for $39.99 and then you get a huge blue bonus box as well for absolutely free. If you guys are essential oil lovers, you know essential oils can be very, very expensive. And in the July box, that's already up now you get four essential oils and then you get all these other goodies inside with all these fun recipe cards so make sure you check it out in the links below and let's go ahead and visit my friend Connie's home today good morning I am Connie from life on Mercedes Drive I've been asked by Holly on living it country channel to do a home tour I will get started on my front porch. My front porch right now is decorated in red, white, and blue, and it'll probably stay that way the rest of the summer. This is a DIY wreath that I made from drop cloth material, something that I just um, um, bleached into it got crispy white and cut a lot of strips and put it around a wire, wire wreath, and there you go. I change it out through the seasons with different color of bows. So let's get started inside the home. When you enter my home, you enter the foyer. I have uh, everything in my home is either DIY, free, a bargain, or something that has been passed down to me from the, through the years. Um, <clears throat> Right at this table, I created a vignette. Uh, my husband served in the military for many years, and so he ended up with that Russian phone uh, from the first Afghanistan-Russian war, and uh, so he knew I would love it, so he um, <clears throat> uh, got it for me. There's an old Nicromat camera that I used to use, and it is now a decorative piece. I have, I will start with my farmhouse table. My farm, farmhouse table, I bought it at a wedding venue. They were getting rid of their old tables and they were um, buying new ones. I got it, like I said, everything's either bargain free or DIY. I got it for less than 200, or for less than $200. I was so pleased with it. I went out and bought some chunky legs and just added the chunky legs. I sanded it down to the bare wood and left it pretty rusted. I ended up doing about three coats of poly on it and um, <clears throat> it has really uh, withstood the use of the water glasses and everything. So I'm just really pleased with this. I do little collections as you'll see throughout my house. Um, I like the marmalade jars. Uh, I, as you can see up here, I have tobacco baskets and I have them throughout the whole house. This jelly cupboard over here was given to me as a gift and I sanded it down and painted it with chalk paint. The chalk paint is a DIY chalk paint that I make. And this mirror over here has withstood the test of time. That mirror has been every color. Uh, recently, I decided that I wanted it to go back. I had painted it white. I wanted it to go back to an antique gold. So I rub and buffed it, and there it is. So I'm really pleased with it uh, as it is. I also collect Ray Dunn, and this is the cabinet that I usually use. I do have it scattered throughout the house in decor 
and this is a cabinet that I, I like to use because it's got glass and it kind of keeps the dust out of it. I don't nearly have as much as some people do. You know that uh, you, the folks that collect Ray Dunn are obsessive with it and I'm borderline obsessive with it. This sign was made custom made for our home and I just love it. I also collect Crocs and uh, I have them pretty much scattered throughout the house. I have this large 10 gallon one over here but the post is kind of in the way. And I have dough bowl bowls. They are, uh, I just love them. This huge large one that I have, I fill it up with holly and, and uh, greenery and pine cones in the winter time and just set it on the table. And it re really, really looks really good. So we'll come on to the kitchen. Uh, this is the dining area in this kitchen. And this table is uh, another DIY that I've actually had for many, many, many years. Um, and it was oak and it's pretty solid. Uh, and I have painted it white and um, this was with regular paint and it has really done nicely. Uh, over here is some DIY shelves that I told my husband what I wanted and he did it and I am more than pleased with it. This enamel table was gotten from a local antique shop and I have enjoyed it and decided to make a coffee bar with it. <clears throat> And you can see my puppies outside. They're not very happy with me because I have put them outside. My kitchen. So my kitchen, I have a little sad story. Uh, the granite over there by the sink broke. We don't know why, but it did. And I, as I, I do love my kitchen as it is, but it is time to redo it. I have tried to get the granite fixed and there is no way that anybody will fix granite. Once they say the rock breaks, it's there's no way to, to fix it. I could replace that whole entire area, but I think my it's time for a change. So I am going to, next month, start renovating the entire kitchen. So kind of stay tuned for all of that. Uh, I've enjoyed my kitchen. I love the pot hanging rack. I like the uh, rustic look of it. This old scale is, um, believe it or not, it's pretty old and it still weighs accurately. I have some Ray Dunn back in the corner. Um, I really have enjoyed uh, the kitchen. So I guess it's time for a new one. I have some more Ray Dunn here. Uh, and I have uh, a masher and some egg beaters that I just collect. They're just vintage pieces that I collect and they kind of remind me of my grandma. And uh, so I really uh, enjoy them. Up on top, I have a molcajete. It is like a um, pestle and mortar. Uh, and um, it's supposed to grind seeds and things like that. I've actually never used it. I just like it. I like the rustic look to it and then put it with baskets, pairing it with baskets. Uh, when I decorate, I try to decorate in threes. And so it kind of keeps interest in the eye. This is our living area. There are some pieces in my living area that are not farmhouse. Um, but I just can't get rid of them. I, I really like them, and so I just try to make it work. These two wingback chairs I got at Facebook Market for $25. I deconstructed them all, literally tore them up to the bare wood, and then I reconstructed them and made slip covers for them. I think uh, with fabric and all, I, I don't have much more over $300 invested in both of these chairs. So I have really, really uh, enjoyed them. They're comfortable and they're really a good bargain. My fireplace up here is layered. I like layered looks. Uh, I have two mirrors that are layered, then I put an empty frame back there. Our mantle is very narrow, so it has given me some uh, decorating struggles. 
but it definitely has uh, challenged me to think out of the box and to do something pretty unique. I like those tapered candles because they're thin and they kind of fit in that little area. My curtains are see-through. I wanted just something very light. I do not, uh, ha I didn't want the heavy look in the window. So I got these curtain shears from Ikea and um, it just kind of makes everything uh, pretty light. This is one of the things that I was talking about that is not really a farmhouse, but the screen back here I've had for a very long time and it just, um, I like it and I just try to make it work. Um, this couch here was a splurge from Pottery Barn. I wanted something that I could take with uh, slip covers off and wash. With three dogs in the house, it they can get pretty uh, pr pretty dirty. One of my my poodles, one of my poodles likes to rub against it. So, unfortunately, I have to have it covered up most of the time because the oils from her hair kind of leave a grime on it. This old nightstand, dresser, whatever it is you want, end table, uh, was in my mother's house for years and years and years. And um, I took it when I got it. It was painted black. So I stripped it, stripped it all down to the bare wood and just put some poly on it and decided to use it as an end table. This armoire over here is another piece that it's, it's from the 1930s. It's an art deco style, but I've kind of put some tobacco baskets and some lanterns and things like that to kind of make it um, farmhouse style. And uh, I really can't get rid of this. It's rolled wood. It's um, very, very pretty. And um, I've had it since the 70s. So I've had it a long time. Another little collection that I do is printer's uh, drawers. These, I collect these and I just display them on the wall and or throughout the house. And I don't really like putting things in there. I, I know that a lot of people do, they make, they make it work. I just like the texture and the way it looks. So I, like I said, I have little collections throughout. I don't have a lot of different things, but just, you know, it's just some small things that I do collect. Well, gonna go on to the master bedroom. I used to have a king size bed in here. And literally, when you walked in here, uh, you would almost jump into the bed. It was just so massive. Um, I decided, my husband and I decided that it was just too much bed, not enough comfort in the room. So I sold it and then bought this old iron bed. It's pretty solid um, and it's queen size. So that has fit better in the room, made the room look a little better also. This old Amish bench, I, a friend of mine was literally giving it away because she didn't like it. And I just think it's phenomenal. I love it. Um, <clears throat> I decorated in here with shutters and windows and just kind of plain. It's, it's not the uh, uh, super, super fancy, but it I think it works with a bed and the uh, um, buffalo check pillows and and uh, everything else that's in here. This little bench I've had for a long time and um, it just, I just use it to hop up on the bed. I'm not very tall, so I use it to hop up on the bed. Over here, you, I have my grandmother's quilt that she quilted um, by hand and you know people just don't quilt by hand anymore and she quilted by hand it has it's definitely worn as you can see in some of the pieces as I get close to it it's um, definitely worn and you can see some of the stitching uh, the hand stitching but I've I really really love it it's just it's not much it's just the sentimental value of it I feel like I still have a lot to do uh, in my home, all I know I do, um, and it's particularly in this room, I am going to work on some 
drop cloth curtains for this large window. One of the reasons I hadn't so far is because my dogs like to lay there and look out. Um, furniture in here, like I said, the furniture was in here was pretty massive and I've left it alone. I've left it as is. Um, it's pretty big um, <clears throat> and I've kind of enjoyed it. Uh, this armoire over here is pretty large and it houses a TV. It, I don't know about y'all, but I like a TV at night. Um, and so also I enjoy, I have wood floors throughout my house, downstairs and upstairs. So I have put some, a rug underneath the bed that when I first get up in the morning, I step on the rug. For some reason or other, I like that. And it's just more um, interesting um, to have the rug. It just creates more textures. Uh, and that's it now. I have enjoyed doing this and I hope that you have enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for watching. A big thank you to Connie for opening up her beautiful home. I hope you guys got lots of inspiration and new ideas. Make sure you guys check out Connie's Instagram account in the links down below and make sure to subscribe to Live in a Country. I'll see you guys later.